All right. Glad you're here. Glad you're giving me a chance today. So I posted something on the community tab just a while ago. Um, I don't have to show you guys where the community tab. You guys know this. You guys are smarter than Sweetie's. Whew. Sweetie has to show his people how to use YouTube, apparently. He does appeal to the lowest common denominator when it comes to people with half a brain, but we already know that. But anyways, I got a message from Chad Gu, which Chad Gu is a police captain here in Ironton, Ohio. And there was a fight that was going to be scheduled with a promoter, Nightmare Productions. I think that's what they're called, Nightmare. I'm pretty sure it's Nightmare. But anyways, there was going to be a MMA fight between Chad and Sweetie. Now, Sweetie, you know, the reason why Chad, you know, accept, offered this is because Sweetie has told tons of cops that he's wanting to put them in a cage and fight them. And Chad's like, hey, let's do this. Now, one of the things that Sweetie has done on this stream, he out of, I think out of nowhere, somebody asks him a question if he's coming back to Ironton. And he's basically kind of pussyfooted around with it, saying, oh, he's got the uh, warrant out for his arrest in Ohio until it gets quashed. And then he's saying he can kick Chad's ass very easily. And he's also talked about how many people he's fought, like Chuck Liddell, Joe Rogan, which he said something about Joe Rogan a long time ago. We've got that. But anyways, I want to show you a couple clips. Let you guys see these. I am coming back to Ironton. Um, you know, and as far as the fight with Chad Gu, I'm still kind of de debating in my head if I even want to do it. Originally, you know, because just, just so you guys know, I could beat the shit out of that guy. It would... It, I can beat the shit out of most people, but there's people who could whoop my butt for sure. Whoop my butt in, 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 in a couple minutes. I'm sure of it. There's people out there who can whip my butt. I know because I went to MMA practice and I got beat up by people. So I know for a fact there's people who can beat me up. But Chad Goo is not one of those guys and I could whoop his ass. That's not the point though. Do I want to spend two hours a day training to fight a pig? I'd like to beat up a pig. But do I want to do all that when I'm studying for the California State Bar? I'm, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm trying to decide in my head. And remember, I'll be 48 the day of the fight. 48 years old. I got a big ego, but pride cometh before the fall. Is, is that what I need to be doing with my time? Or do I need to be studying the California State Bar? You know, and so, so that's, that's where I'm at. That's, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at in my head. Just so you guys know. And I haven't talked to the fight promoter, but also getting a warrant where, where I'm, I have a warrant, um, in Ohio has messed me up, messed up my schedule, messed up my timing, messed up where I was going to be, you know, messed me up as far as my schedule and what I'm doing with my life and my timing. Could you imagine just for a moment that I have an agenda here? Could you imagine just for a moment, you know? And so, you know, uh, would I like to beat up Chad Goo? Absolutely. Do I want to make a spectacle? And remember, I could have fought pro when I was a kid. I could have fought pro as a kid in my 20s. And I said, I don't want to be a gladiator. I don't want to fight in a cage. And now I'll be 48 on the September, September 11th, and I'm going to be jumping in a ring. I'm, I'm thinking about it. You know, just so you guys know, my investors from Coded Friends... I'm still friends with all my investors. And so one of my investors from Coded Friends called me on the phone and said, Chili, listen, I know you could beat this guy up. I want you to focus on your California State Bar. And this is a guy who's given me 50,000 bucks. So it's like, he's, he's just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking about it because had my schedule not been messed up and had I not had to leave Ironton and then I can't go back to Ohio till the warrant is quashed and then I got to travel, you know, so now that you saw those clips, the arrogance, the arrogance. Now, this guy says basically that he doesn't know if he's going to do the fight because he wants to do the California bar exam. Now, is he smart enough to do this? Probably not. Probably not from what we've seen already. He's really not that bright. Now, he might say he is. He says he's the real deal, but you'll see in some clips on here, he says he is absolutely the real deal and that if he was to take his focus off the bar exam and not and do the fight that he would lose so much time from helping people that you know he's trying to save the planet guys he's he is trying to save the planet um and he says he doesn't want to let people down well 
what I say to that is this was going to be a charity event for St. Jude. Now, the proceeds would have went to St. Jude. Now, I know you wanted to do your own portal and say, hey, go ahead and donate to that portal. Yeah, you fuck off, man. Don't, don't be giving him money at some kind of portal that he says he's designed. Don't fucking do that. But anyways, this was supposed to be a charity event for St. Jude. And I don't think of a better, any better cause I can think of than that. You know, two people fighting, whoever wins, wins. The money goes to a really good charity. Now, Sweetie says that he doesn't know if it's worth it. But he says, you know, no matter how hard that uh, Chad trains that, he would wipe his ass all over the place. He says something else, like he would spank him. I don't understand his thing with spanking men's asses. Like, he's got a thing for that. As well as other things I don't even know. But anyways, I want to show you some more clips here. I know it, Aaron. And just so you know, I've I've trained with Chuck Liddell, and he did whip my butt. Uh, you know, I, I, I've trained with Chuck. He, he, did, he did kick my butt. So <laughs> he, he beat me up <laughs> when I trained with Chuck, he, he stomped me. So, so, you know, and that's when we were young and, and you just look old in your forties when you're fist fighting people. So I just don't know, you know, and you said, if you don't fight him, the trolls will win. Yeah. But, but pride cometh before the fall, you know, is that what you want? Are you so prideful that you worry about what people think or say about you? Is that what you are? Or should I really stay focused on helping these people who have been screwed by the system and I have the the mental capacity to and let's let, let's just play it the other way. Let's say Chad Goo, let's say he gets an amazing right and knocks me unconscious and Chad wins. Congratulations Chad, you beat me. But then he knocks my head senseless and I can't think straight for a week. And so I just I'm just I'm just, I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. You know, I'm thinking about it, you know, and, and, and it has nothing to do with not wanting to fight Chad Goo, you know, and by the way, I'm not, I'm not against going over to the guy's training camp and going into his training camp and, and let's just have a go right there. He can throw all the punches he wants. He's only going to get one or two punches off before I put him on the ground and beat the shit out of him. I mean, that's just, I'll, I'll go to his training camp. He's got a training camp, right? Chad Goo does have a training. Chad, you have a training camp, don't you? As long as it's outside of Ohio, I'll come up there and I'll go around with you in the training camp and I'll show you that I can just spank you, dude. I mean, I, I mean, I just can. It is what it is. I, I can spank that guy. You, you guys, listen, I am what I am. You guys see, the, you guys just see the, a tiny fraction of my training. I, I'm, I'm the real deal. I, and I've been this tough since I was in high school. I mean, you can ask my high school friends. I mean, everybody in my hometown knows. They all know. Everybody from where I'm from, they know. They saw me do it. So, so you know, I'm just kind of trying to prioritize properly. And I don't want to let um, the people who are relying on me down. And I don't want to let myself down where I, I spend two hours a day training for a fight with a goober as compared to spending that two hours a day studying for the California State Bar. But, but Chad Goo does have a training camp. I'll, I'm more than willing to pop in there. I don't know where that is, Chipotle. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't matter how good of shape Chad Goo got in. He could get down to 210 pounds. It wouldn't matter. He doesn't have the years of pedigree that I have. He just doesn't have it. And I'm more than willing to go by his training camp. I just don't know if I want to spend this amount of time focusing on fighting some dude who's never had a wrestling match in his life. But I'll go over to his training camp. I'll put him on the ground 15, 20 times in a row. I'm just telling you. So just think of the arrogance. Like, <laughs> you're, you're so full of yourself that you think that, you know, since you've been, you know, fighting since you was in middle school and that you was the toughest guy in the area, you're the real deal, uh, everybody knows you, the guy that gives you $50,000 said, hey, don't do the fight. Train, train for your uh, bar exam. Dude, we all knew this was going to happen. We knew that you was going to pussyfoot out of this thing. You was going to try to get out of it. You was. 
we do this. Now, he did say he pulled his hamstring, which is funny. We had a uh, a mention, I think it was on Kate's channel. Guy said that he would um, most likely ha have a leg injury and try to call the fight off. Now, he did say he has hamstring issues, so that's a thing. Another thing, he said, I'm too old for this, and uh, Chad's a goober, and I can wipe his ass all over the place a hundred times. I'm just that good, guys. I'm the I'm the real deal. I'm the Macho Man Randy Savage. I am Goku. I am Superman. I am the Man of Steel. He's a sub gang, <laughs> sub gamma, sub. I almost said something I didn't want to say. He's a sub gamma butt boy. That's all he is. He's not an alpha. He's a sub gamma butt boy. That's that's it. That's that's his title. Not only is he a, you know, he assaults women. We got that on video. He's a racist, apparently, according to TikTok. Where it's a, isn't that why you got kicked off of TikTok? But we can actually bring a bunch of examples, especially whenever you was talking to uh, see the, what was it, the city council member when you had it constantly telling him he's black, so he has to think a certain way? That's racist. That is racist. Also threatening violent sex acts on people. Say, I'm going to hold you down, give you the D. We've got that too. See, not, not that I, I can prove all these things, right? I have the receipts. Now, a lot of the stuff I'm saying is, it's always my opinion. It's always opinion. I can't prove these things except for what I'm showing you. You know, you take what you want from it. But, we, we, we know, we knew this was going to happen. We know this is going to happen. You're, you call yourself an alpha, but here you are running again and trying to feed your cult to make it seem like, you know, you're the king of the hill or whatever. I, I don't know what the fuck you think you are, but you're none of that, honestly. You're just you're just a piece of shit. That's, what, that's all there's to it. And I hate to say that. I don't personally know you. I personally don't know you. But from everything that I've seen about you, the way you act, we just know you're not really who you say you are. You're a grifter. You're pond scum. And I kind of think it's funny that you had 1.7K views on your last stream. Now, this doesn't count the views you had people watching you. Well, I think you that would count people that was watching you. And you only had 11 comments, which that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That's, uh, that's a little off. It's a little off. Now, YouTube doesn't count chat as comments, but usually whenever I have a video that has a couple hundred views, there's still way more comments. It's just weird, okay? I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to plant something here, but it's kind of fishy. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to give us a follow, a subscribe. I hope uh, you guys are doing good, and um, yeah, fuck you, Sweden. Finger guns. Wait, wait, is that is that right? Oh yeah. By the way, I know I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm depressed. I'm a mental case. I don't have anything to offer to this world. You know the normal shit. Goodbye, guys. I love you.